you are watching my video on artificial intelligence and racing simulations. Here I am going to compute the racing line of Fern Bay Club, a track in the racing simulator Live for Speed. I first loaded the left and right edge from a bunch of cones in a layout file. In my first attempt, I simply took the left edge, and each cone on the left edge I shot a vector out towards the right until it hit the right edge of the track. Once it hit the right edge of the track, I took that position in the nodes position and made a center line. This was good except for it had a couple edge cases around some corners that have sharper edges on the actual edge of the track. So I came up with another solution of going down the middle line and instead just using the current position and the previous position to get a forward vector. Using this forward vector to move into the possible center of the track ahead of ourselves and then cast a vector out to the left and the right until it hits the edge to find the actual location of the center at that spot. If you notice on some of these sharper corners you might see the node kind of bounce from where it gets projected to into its actual spot. And I just cut out a little bit there because it was just going along a straight, kind of boring to watch. The next step was to use springed hinges. So the hinge always wants to open up. And at first I tried this just free hinges and let the simulation play. But as you can see here, the green arrow or green, green node, which was the center of the three, started moving off to the left. Here I constrain them to the edge so they can only move left or right on their track. They, they, they're stuck where they are on the track. They can only move left and right. That worked out really well. And here's turn one of Fern Bay Club. The red line is the racing line. And that white line is the racing line according to a path file in Live for Speed. Somebody suggested I open that up and try showing the comparison, so I did, and that's where the artificial intelligence and in live for speed run. Um, this red line is only 300 iterations long, which means if I ran it longer, it would actually get better and better as time goes on. And that's my video on artificial intelligence in racing simulations computing the racing line.